everyone, I'm Simon. Welcome back to part five. Jib, the vampire bar girl. She hasn't been a vampire yet. Quick recap, just in case you're joining for this one, for the first of the story. English guy goes to Thailand, meets Thai girl. She gets pregnant, has a baby. He doesn't do DNA tests, doesn't know it. His girl, daughter, baby's named Clark. Thai girl is named Jib and the English guy is Peter. Gone through a process, they've now moved to the UK and they're Jib and Pla, the baby, are on a two-year visa. They've already had a tourist visa, gone back, come back on this visa. Peter has a house, 50% mortgage, mum and dad, healthy. At this moments in time Jib is uh, 20 years old Peter I think 35 36 I'm gonna skip forward a bit because this is the start this story this part is the start of the vampire training so we're gonna cover the next two years pretty quickly it's all mundane stuff Peter and Jib get married in England. They have a registry office, small low-key wedding, family, friends. They have a week honeymoon in the UK and leave Pla the baby with Peter's mum and dad. Everything's good. Jib is a perfect wife at this moment. Girlfriend, now wife. Daughter's fabulous. Everything is good. House is fine. Peter's job, he's uh, got a business online doing really well, no problems. This two years, Jib goes full time to college to learn English. On a very intense course, I might add, she even does extra classes. And at the end of this two years, Jib's English is an incredible um, accomplishment. She's moved forward in leaps and bounds and her English is really getting good, really good. Through this two years, Jib becomes 21, and like Peter, he does mum and dad, bought Peter a Rolex, oyster, little silver bracelet, about a 4,000 pound watch. They bought Jib the same watch for a lady, smaller, um, as her 21st present. That was lovely, that was really nice. She still hasn't sent the 500,000 baht that Peter gave her for the sin sod for her parents for bringing her up she hasn't given that to her mum and dad hmm. still not so two years on it's time for the final visa Peter Pla and Jib go to the UK embassy in the UK and make the final visa straight through no problem this now means that Pla the baby and Jib have the right of abode can stay in the UK forever if they choose I think it's another three years down the line they can become British citizens and get a passport if they choose but this new visa now means that they can stay in the UK forever whatever happens this key visa so two years gone Peter finds himself, he's got excess money, he's doing really well. Uh, rather than pay the mortgage off, he decides he wants to put the money, extend the house, make it bigger, and he commissions a, an extension, which is two-storey house, so an extension two-storey high, two rooms back. So it's two rooms downstairs, two upstairs, puts the price of the house up, but actually buy more than what it cost to do the extension. So it commissions this, this work starts, turns the house into a bright muddle um, and builders climbing all over the place. And this starts straight after that visa point. Up until this moment, Peter and Jib, it's been perfect, absolutely perfect. During Jib's time in the college, at lunchtime sometimes, but after, well, she walks home um, she stop off at a Thai cafe restaurant. Now this this 
Thai cafe restaurant. Next to it is a Asian supermarket. So this is where Peter and Jib go and get all their imported Thai food and rice and everything that's imported from Asia to this shop. And it's in the town centre where they live, next to all the pubs and nightclubs, it's around the centre of town. And next to and built on and part of and owned by the same people is this Thai restaurant cafe. In the day it's a cafe selling just coffee, tea and Thai snacks and food. And at night they dim the lights, put tablecloths on the tables and serve Thai food. It becomes a proper restaurant. Now in this building establishment, Jim's been going and she's met a lot of Thai girls at this cafe. Now, above this supermarket cafe is, because it's quite a big supermarket, is approximately eight or ten small studio apartments, of which I think eight are taken by Thai girls. Some of them, a couple of them in there sharing. But there's one main group in this cafe of let's say 10 Thai girls. And I'm gonna call these girls the tribe. And further through this story, I will refer to them as the tribe, these 10 girls. So Jibs meets them and she's finishing her course, two years goes by, gets the visa, finishes the course, and at that moment, through talking to all these Thai girls, Jib changes. She just hardens up a little bit, starts to twist in her mind. She wants a job. These Thai girls, there's a couple of apartments upstairs. Turns out that they are most of them uh, were married, well they were all married to foreigners, most of them are divorced and they are what we call in the UK a brothel, it's, it's like a, well you guys know, these girls are selling their bodies and using the two apartments upstairs like short time rooms and that's where they're making their money and they're meeting people in the cafe and advertising in all different ways, social media. And Jib cottons onto this very, very quickly. All of the tribe come from Isan. It's not a coincidence, I don't know, coincidence, what is it? They all come from Isan, the northeast part of Thailand, which is a vast area. They're all quite hard, they're all quite business-like. And as Jib gets to know them, she starts twigging what's what. After finishing the course, she needs to get work. She needs to have an income. She wants to send money home to the family. Or just squirrel it away. She tells Peter, I've got a job now in the Little Thai Cafe restaurant in the evenings helping out and sometimes in the little supermarket um, Peter's over the moon oh it's great you've got a job it's in the evening so I'm working in the daytime you take care of Pla and until she's old enough to go to school and then I have her in the evenings and you work perfect absolutely perfect all is good now the tribe the start the apprenticeship the jib now goes through with the tribe of learning the vampire ways. So first, she's going with customers upstairs short time behind Peter's back and in the UK at the time it was, it's incredible amounts of money, it's sort of 250 US dollars for half an hour, hour with these customers and there's a stream of customers because of the social media and all the girls are room hopping or whatever but lots of work and 
Jib starts earning serious money. She contributes to Peter and Pla by buying the food for the family and that's it. She tells Peter she's earning a little bit of money but she'll pay the food and then maybe a little bit can go home to mother and father. He's fine with that, she's paying for the food, He's everything's good, fabulous. She seems happy when she's home but she's working later and later some nights. And this goes on, she's working first three or four nights then she's working six nights a week and Peter's getting a little bit fed up he never sees her in the evenings you know he's on his own with his daughter okay everything's good but she's working a lot for a little bit of money but she seems happy when she comes home and she's <coughs> she's treating him well everything's good so okay now we're going forward year by year here she's learn the basics then the girls they keep disappearing off the tribe in groups and she's like what's going on what are you doing and they slowly get to trust her and they bring her into the tribe slowly but they're not telling her everything they're going off uh, this one weekend they're going for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off to Germany four or five of the tribe and they invite Jib now, this is a tricky one Jib says to goes home and says to Peter some of the girls I work with um, got a trip and uh, they're going off to Germany well Peter's well I don't really want you to go and actually you haven't got the visa you need a Svengen visa for this so that stops Jib in her tracks. What's a Svengen visa? She didn't know about all this. She hasn't got a British passport, so she has to get a Svengen visa. Anyway, she says to him, oh, okay then. And she tells the tribe, I haven't got this visa. And they said, well, get one. And you can come next time. In a month, we're off to Paris. And then the month after that, they're off to Belgium. And all round Europe. So... Jib carries on with the evening work and jumping around with customers, making good money. She talks to Peter. They're planning another trip in a month's time. They're going to go to Paris for the weekend. I'd really love to go. I'll pay for the visa. Would you mind? Could I go for the weekend and see Paris? Peter's not really fussed about going to Paris. Is he's like, okay. He's thinking the building's going on in the house. It's, it, it's, it's even though it's a year down the line, it's almost finished, but it's still still stuff in the garden. He's landscaping and things. Yeah, why not? Okay, we'll sort the visa out. So he helps her. Quite easy application. Applies, has to wait through, I think it's three weeks. She gets the visa through in time for the parish trip. Friday comes, says bye to Pla and Peter. Off she goes with four or five of the girls. And they fly over, they go to the airport, fly over to Paris. Visa's fine. And they've got yet another restaurant, cafe, in Paris they go to. And it's the same. It's another brothel. They're going there to work for the weekend in the daytime. And then in the evening, they're going partying and having a good time. And the four days flies by. But again, she burns loads of money. She's having a whale of a time. Just like when she was in Thailand when she was younger. All the fun and excitement. This is fabulous for her. She's like, wow, really good. And she's starting to like this a lot. So now, comes back, back to the normal work in the evenings, Peter. The girls next trip, Thailand for a week. The tribe, they're all going. What's this all about? Why are you going to Thailand? Are you all going home to visit the family? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You come in, we're going for a week. Back home to Peter, tells him, he's like, no, no way, this is getting too much now, you've had a you know, weekend in Paris, now you want to go to Thailand for a week, I'm not happy with this. This point, Jib turns around and says, this is my life, I'm going, whether you like it or not, and puts her foot down. Shocks Peter, the first time she's ever put her foot down. 
I'm going for a week to Thailand. You look after Pla. Big arguments, two or three days. She doesn't talk to him, he doesn't talk to her. A few weeks later, the trip's on. Why Thailand? Not going to the parents? Hmm, the tribe. Next lesson in the vampire diaries. <laughs> they fly to Thailand, into Bangkok. All go freelancing around all the different bars, partying, getting customers. All week, that's all they do. Day and night is freelancing around, getting customers, more money. End of the week, they all buy Thai gold. Lots of it, as much as they can wear and a bit in the suitcase and Jib's like well why like, just buy it just do it spare money just get quite a few bits of gold we'll show you when we get back to the UK okay so she buys probably 10 pieces it's a lot of money the gold fly back to the UK and this video is going on we're already at 16 minutes I'll have to stop it there we'll carry this on Vampire diary training. Hmm. <laughs> She's turning. She's starting to turn. This is going to be a long series. Oh. Are we at the halfway point of the series yet? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, guys. See you soon. Bye.